Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got some exciting news for Ubuntu fans. Ubuntu Linux 24.10, codenamed Oracular Oriole, is finally here. Yep, it's the latest interim release from Canonical, and it's packed with new features and improvements, some of which even celebrate Ubuntu's 20th anniversary. So, if you're curious about what's new in Ubuntu 24.10, stick around, because we're diving into all the details. Alright, let's start with the basics. Ubuntu 24.10 is available for download right now from the official Ubuntu website. This version ships with the Linux 6.11 kernel and the GNOME 47 desktop environment. Some key changes include Ubuntu switching to Wayland by default for those of you with NVIDIA hardware. This transition was already made for Intel and AMD graphics in earlier versions, so now everyone's on board. One of the coolest updates for NVIDIA users is that Ubuntu 24.10 is now using open-source NVIDIA 560 kernel modules by default. This brings better hardware support and overall stability which is something a lot of people will appreciate. Plus, there's a new tool called KDump Tools that captures kernel crash dumps automatically. Basically, if your system crashes, it can now grab all the important data, making it easier to troubleshoot. Pretty handy for developers and power users. Now, here's something fun. This release celebrates Ubuntu's 20th anniversary. Can you believe it's been two decades since Warty Warthog, Ubuntu 4.10, launched? To mark the occasion, Ubuntu 24.10 comes with some throwback goodies. There's a special anniversary accent color, new wallpapers, and even the original startup sound from the very first release. It's a nostalgic touch that longtime users are definitely going to love. If you're a gamer, Ubuntu 24.10 has some treats for you as well. The Steam Snap has seen significant improvements, especially in terms of compatibility and performance. Canonical expanded the permissions model, and improved NVIDIA driver support, making your gaming experience a lot smoother. Not only that, but the Steam Snap also bundles Mesa PPAs, which are pre-configured for optimized gaming performance right out of the box. And for all you competitive gamers out there, the low latency settings in the Linux 6.11 kernel should give you a bit of an edge when it comes to responsiveness. Canonical is really stepping up its game, no pun intended. Moving on to some other updates, the Ubuntu dock now handles progressive web applications PWAs better than ever before. This is great news if you rely on web-based apps for work or personal use. It just makes everything feel a bit more integrated. Also, there are changes to the OpenJDK packages in Ubuntu 24.10. Both OpenJDK 17 and 21 are now TCK certified on multiple architectures, including AMD64, ARM64, and others. Passing the Technology Compatibility Kit tests means these versions comply with the official Java SE specification, which is critical for developers working in the Java ecosystem. Last but not least, Ubuntu 24.10 is the first release to include OpenVex and OSV formats for vulnerability reporting by default. What does that mean? Well, it makes vulnerability management a lot simpler by offering an open standard for producing and reading vulnerability data. If you're into cybersecurity or run servers, this update will be a big help in staying ahead of potential issues. And that wraps up what's new in Ubuntu 24.10. From improved gaming performance to better hardware support and some nostalgic anniversary features, this release brings a lot to the table. If you haven't already, go ahead and download it to check it out for yourself. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you found this breakdown helpful. Let me know in the comments what feature you're most excited about in Ubuntu 24.10. I'll catch you all in the next one.